right. Daisy, hey. was it fact or cap? It was fact, y'all. Here we are, what's up, TikTok family? I got the wonderful Daisy Dukes with me. Y'all wanted to know who she was on my live, so I brought her out to the show to show you what it's like from our both our eyes inside the house of Don White and what happened with Dwindis and Crazy X. So for a lot of people who are not familiar with this show, um, this show is basically what happened on all my TikToks that you've been seeing. Everything that y'all wanted in a longer version, it is finally here. So with that being said, enjoy the show. Get your popcorn, relax, and let's get the show started. So tell me the story again, just like, what happened? As we left off in the last episode, my ex ended up calling the cops on me on one of my house. Uh, it was just too much problems, and of course, that's where the Duendis was actually being recorded at. Like, that house was just so much full of nothing negative but energy. negative energy, you know, and stuff like that or whatever. So, she was going to school, and she, you know, her family was like, well, you know what, you're going to school, you get shipped off or whatever, woo, 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 woo. Well, uh, she needed a place to go, and I needed a place to go. So I called my homie and... Yeah, hey, I need a place, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you know, you down a book together, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, you do your own thing, I do my own thing, or whatever. We split, you know, the rent, whatever, woo, -woo You know? Because you've been best friends for... Claro. Over eight years. Over eight years, you know what I mean? So it was just like, you know, it was, uh, you know, it's a vibe, you know? So... It was like whatever. So. Yeah, it was like whatever, you know? Yeah. Tell me about the house. Describe the house to me. Like, did it give you any bad vibes? Oh, no. No, it no. was like full of good vibes. Yeah, when we first got there, Don White was beautiful. It was peaceful. It was peaceful. You know, you walked out, you had a back, you had a back trail to run. Like, it was... The dogs loved it. The dogs it. loved it. It was like the trees, like... Um, the kitchen was huge. The kitchen was huge. Living room was huge. You know what I mean? Uh, I would have stayed. Yeah. If none of that would have happened. You know, it you know has this dark history. And if whoever's, whoever's living in it now... Why do you call it Don White? There's a lot of memories on that. So yeah. Right? Said, tell me, Let me start by saying this. Did I knew that I was going to be in a spiritual battle? I knew it. Don White was shown to me. It was four houses away from Juanita. I saw it for rent when I knew. Like, I automatically knew. Like, you know, I'm like, I'm about to go through something. It and was by the safe house. It was it was the safe house down the street from somebody who could help me. That lasted like two months. That lasted like two months for you know before literally everything two went to. Months. Yeah, literally right, two months because it started May. What happened that made the energy shift? Yeah, it started with the dogs. We ended up walking the trail that morning and we're just sitting down. And I was like, okay, well you know what, um, I'm gonna go get me something to drink or whatever. And she was sitting down and I just hear her scream my name, Noe. And I'm like, what I was what the in fuck? The room. Yeah, I was in the room, so I run to the room. I'm like, what happened? What's up? And like my dog's locked up. Like he's locked up. And you he's know how like jumping. Like jumping. So we're trying to calm him down. But see, he got blue. He wasn't responding. He wasn't to yeah, us. he wasn't responding. He couldn't even open his mouth. He couldn't open his mouth. It was, everything was so tight. And a lot of people gonna be like, oh, it's a seizure, it's a seizure. I've seen a dog have a seizure before. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a seizure. Was it, he like standing? No, like he he was laying on the bed, his body just yeah, like and he just, was just hitting the floor. He was just hitting the floor, yeah. hitting the floor, hitting the floor, hitting the floor. And then I was like, okay, let's go. We got to take him. Yeah. Because he's not calming down. Right. And, and we pulled up, literally, right whenever we pulled up, he stopped. He stopped, right when he pulled up. And you could hear him in the back of the car. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, and... Mm -hmm. I was tripping. I thought he was dying. I Maybe he, I thought he might have ate something. We were that, crying. Yeah, I was crying. Let's talk about afterwards. Like, the dog thing happened. But... So that was the 15, first incident. 10, 20 days, how long after the next thing happened? Oh, yeah. so the next thing was whenever you were jumping out of your sleep. I've always had sleep paralysis uh, in some form or way, shape or form, but these sleep paralysis were different. These were uh, constant visions of my ex murdering me. These were unexplainable dreams. These were dreams that I would wake up out of my sleep, <gasps> and I've always had that before, but these were different. I mean, she witnessed it, I, 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 I jump up. And he wouldn't even remember the next day. I wouldn't remember the next day. Remember the first time that thing happened to him? Like, were you sleeping and then you heard something? The first time that it actually happened to him, we were asleep already, and I had work the next day, and he jumps up out of his sleep like he couldn't breathe. And you were saying something. I don't know what the hell you were saying. I was yeah. like, calm down, calm down. It's okay, it's okay, relax, rest. Yeah. You don't remember that? Uh-uh. You do don't you, remember that? Do you remember uh -huh. how you felt? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I gotta go home. Yeah, I'm me, I'm me, yeah. No. That, what was the next thing that happened? Started, I started getting these anxiety attacks at 11. 11 to 1 p.m. Every fucking day. day. 
like every day and see i i, I know anxiety you know like i, I know anxiety i i know how it feels that but was these, a different anxiety that was a different anxiety these these felt these felt okay when people who have anxiety everybody goes through the heart palpations you feel like you can't breathe you feel like you you know you feel like you're out of it your mind's out of it but these were i had no control of my body I had no control of my movement. I had no control of, of my thought process. You know what I mean? Because anxiety, yeah, you're off. Yeah, you feel off. But you can still control it if you told yourself, man, just shut up. All right, cool. I couldn't tell myself to shut up. It's like if I was like hypnotized. Battling demons. Or battling demons or like if I was hypnotized. You know what I mean? They would have me like this. I'm like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Biting, on biting like this, like this. And I'm always like this. Always like that from 11 to 1 p.m. What happened with Noe? Like, tell me, I want to hear from you. Like, tell me about this, like, your version of all of that. It's kind of sad. Say? It's kind of sad because he, Noe, like, you were, like, always, like, always wanting to do something. Oh, let's go get up, let's go work out, let's go for a run, let's go do this, let's go run our errands. And then he couldn't even do that. He couldn't even get up off of the couch or off of the bed because he was weak or if we were to step out of the door he would have a really bad panic attack mm -hmm. like he couldn't eat like I, I i wasn't eating everything i eat was getting stuck in my throat mm -hmm. uh i lost like probably 30 pounds mm -hmm. in one month uh i was probably only consuming about 200 calories a day mm -hmm. um no just just real deteriorated real deteriorated so so weak. so weak i would literally go and see him in the bathtub with a blanket just laid there like what's going on come on get up let's go yeah it was sad and then what made you say let's let's take him to Juanita what made me go to Juanita was because she was fixing me though she would fix me for 15 minutes and it should and she it would come back it'd come back again harder Har Juanita couldn't help him anymore she felt that she did the most that she could do and then I found out I could clean boom 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 I started busting out blood, eggs. I found eggs. out I had that gift. I had that gift to clean. So now it was an every 20 minute cycle. It was an every, you know what I'm saying, 20 minute. Oh shit, I'm normal. Then again, again. You know what I'm saying? It was like that all the time, every time, nonstop, 24 hours out the day, throughout the night, never fucking stop. So by some point, I had no body. I had no mental. I had nothing. I was completely fucking drained. No matter how many times I prayed to God, no matter how many times I've sat there and was like, God, please help me, please help me. Nothing was nothing, shaking. Nothing would shake. And even at church, I was going through this exact, whatever the fuck that was, at 11 p.m., because church is at 11, right? Sitting there, rocking. In, 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 about to leave. You know what I'm saying? About to leave, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just, just rocking. Praying to God, please make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. No. And then we got introduced to Martin. So... Who was Martin? Martin was a warlock, right? And he played with both sides. He played with both sides. So for those who don't know, a warlock is... Uh, is a some, brujo. He dabbles with the devil, you know what I'm saying? And he dabbles with the darker side. But he, but he played with both, you know what I'm saying? He'll use that dark magic for good, you know what I mean? Type shit, you know? But again, I never wanted to go down that route. That was never my fucking route. The only reason why I went down that route was due to the fact that um, I got fed up. And it was enough. And for the people who's going to be like, you did what? You did... No. Anything that I... had to have. No, yeah. Anything that I've ever did, I didn't do nothing to her. Understand that. I just cleaned what was on me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But in order to clean what was on me, I had to mix black with black. We meet my theme. He tried to clean me twice, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he tried to clean me twice. He came in with these plants. All these... Waruda, Minta. What was Albaca. it? Albaca. Yeah, yeah. All these plants, right? He came inside my house. We stepped outside. We went back in the house. They're these dead. plants were dead. Black. Full of flies. Full of flies. Black. You know what I mean? And let's not take it in the fact that my house was already being terrorized with maggots. You know what I'm saying? Roaches. You know what I mean? Like and Gnats oh, everywhere. Gnats everywhere. And I'm a clean person. Yeah, and both, he's a clean Yeah, person. you know what I'm saying? Both of us. You know what I mean? So all that was going... That house was just... It was eating and eating and, and it eating. And it was just in little corners and of the house? Corners? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Martin tells me. He goes... You don't believe. He goes, you don't believe, motherfucker? I'm only helping you because Juanita told me to. You know what I mean? But you, he goes, you want to see the dark side, motherfucker? Get in the truck. He got mad, bro. He treated me like shit. I'm like, bitch, you're not finna 
You know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck? You know what I mean? Then you think, oh, he a warlock. Mm, you know, like, mm, mm, mm. you <laughs> know what I mean? So let me, not, let, me, let me not get on this bad side. Woo, woo. So now I'm jumping the truck. We in the truck now. A far ass drive. Far ass motherfucking drive, right? So then he takes us to Rosa. And, and let me tell you this everything was locked. Yeah, everything was locked. We had to break in to get into where this lady was gonna put him to clean him. Right. Like, we couldn't get inside. And she's like, what the hell? Like, yeah. why can't the door open? Like, yeah. I was just in here. Right. But what is it? What, 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 what the fuck? Like, it was like a shed. It was, it was like a shed. shed where she had, like, all her little, like, heads. And yeah, she looks like she had these heads. Full of roaches. Full of roaches. And um, alcohol, liquor blood, there. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, the blood was on the um, floor. Every, I'm like, where the fuck are, are we? we? What the fuck did we just get ourselves into? Yeah. And at this point, at this point, I'm going through all this bruja shit. I'm like... You know what? If it's gonna help me, let's do it. And like, if, no, well, if it's gonna help me, let's do it. But also, what the fuck? I want to get the fuck out of here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Oh, like, definitely. This, ain't, this ain't me. My spirit yeah. don't like this. Then we broke the door open, right? We sit down in the room. Rosa sitting right here. Martin sitting right here, and she's sitting like right here, right? Right. Next so time. me and her looking at each other like, what the fuck? I was scared. Yeah, was scared. I was scared. Like I, the I was shaking. The energy in there was, was like, was, was, it was very. It's not me. Like this, Rosa. Let's ask the devil to help you. And I'm like. The, uh, Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, mm. I was like you know. Oh so God. she, so she pours, she pours liquor on the devil, right? The devil tipped the cup over. Pew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like a little shot glass. Yeah. A shot, a shot glass. Right. She filled it up and she said, "We're gonna see if he's gonna uh, talk wanna, to you." Yeah, want to talk to you. He's gonna want to talk to you. Yeah. And the whole thing just the whole thing on tipped the floor. over, and she looked at us like. That has never happened. She yeah, said that's that never, never happened. She, she like, the devil don't even want to talk to you. And at this point, I'm like, shit, cool. Like, it's cool. You know, hold on. We're going to ask another. We're going to ask another head. So Dude, it's like I'm seeing everything. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. She pours the liquor on the head and mwah, mwah. the lip, mwah, mwah. it moved. The head's mwah, mwah. What the? F yeah. What do you mean? Like the, the head talk. Like, I, I, it sounds weird, but it was fucking scary. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was crazy to see this head. You know, and she go, da, 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 you know, whatever, you know. She started and, talking in like and, this, this yeah, other language. This other language, ooh, and then the head, mm -hmm. you know, and uh. And everything this lady was saying was spot on. Uh, everything true. was was spot on true, right? You know what I'm saying? And so I asked, who did it to me? How? What happened? Well, this girl wears her hair like this, and yeah. she's this color. She's this color, you and know. And she has these tattoos, mm -hmm. and I was like. <gasps> And yeah. he was like, oh my God. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and the head, you, we're looking at this head speak. This head is speaking. You know what I mean? And it's, te and it's you know, it's telling, it's like, you went to a party, which I was at a New Year's party. You, you know what I'm saying? Drunk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She gave you a shot with something. She gave you a shot with something in there, you know, and. Um, you actually made a movie about that. Yeah, I made a movie. Devil Watch with Marty Vendretti. Uh, search it up. You're going to see it on my page. Go down. Devil Watch with Marty Vendretti. But uh, so everything that happened in that movie, look at it. That's what I heard in. Um, that's what I heard. What the lady was telling me, right? Like her friend made her do it. You know, whoop, and I know which friend it was. Pussy. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, she told everything down to the bone. This head, bro. This head is telling us all this. That's how we figured out what happened. We and figured who out who it was. And who it was. We end up leaving the spot. Whatever, right? We go back to my house. And he's like, "I'm gonna come in seven days." Yeah. I'm gonna bring all of these ingredients. He finally he comes to the house and uh, unannounced. I, unannounced, he shows up. And to we're the house. already leaving out the door. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's there. And he's there, and he shows up, and he's like, "All right, motherfucker, it's time." And I was like, "All right, let's go." Literally, this cleaning was one of the most terrifying things. Terrifying cleanings I've ever experienced in my life. And you know, and for the people be like, "Well, what, 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 what was it? Like, what was it?" It was a cleaning where I was put. Inside a ring of a fire. I was put inside of a ring of a fire, right? He's hold your sign of the cross, and he's, you know, he's saying in the name of the Father, like, you know, he's doing this. He's and, cleaning him. Yeah, he's doing his he's thing. Doing, he's doing his thing. He put me in a white chalk, right? And now he's 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 hitting me with these plants. He's hitting me with these plants, right? But while he's hitting me with these plants and he's rubbing these plants on me, I have an outer body experience. He's saying my name, da 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 da, da and I can see my body, my soul is outside of my body. So I'm thinking, I'm freaking out, like, what the fuck, am I dead, like, what the fuck? And he's talking to me, and I can see myself grunting, like, huh, huh, It was scary. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like- Wanting to fight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, huh, huh. And I'm just saying, but my, I'm looking at my body, like, huh? And he, in my chest, I'm back in my body, and he's like, what's your name? 
I don't know where the fuck I'm at. And he's like, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Boom. And I'm seeing outside my body again. And the feeling is so surreal. Your, 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 your spirit is, what the fuck? What is going on? What? And I'm in the corner like, oh my God, what the fuck is about to happen? Yeah. And, and um, it was the energy. It was, it was crazy. And then finally, the third time. I had anxiety. Think about it. Um, the third time. He, uh, he pat my chest. It stopped. It stopped. He goes, what's your name? And I said my full name. I said my full name. And I don't know. He poured something all over me. Right? To freeze the chakra. And I couldn't breathe. When he splashed that water, you saw goat feet. All in that circle. And I got a picture of that. I'm going to show that right here. I felt better, but when he cleaned me, I felt better. Like I felt like I was mean. Like I was like, oh my god, like let's go eat. I was hungry. You know what I mean? And, and I I'm me. like remembering that shit, right? Um, so he tells me, go take all this to the cemetery, drop it with your left hand. And he goes, when you drop this in the bag, you're gonna be hearing things. You're gonna be hearing things, but whatever you do, do not turn around, because if you turn around, you're fucked. Everything you just did was for nothing. You're fucked, right? So I, I was like, all right, whatever. So when I was you here, you didn't my, believe it. Yeah, I didn't believe it. You know what I mean? But all right, Daisy Drive. So I'm driving and I have his cousin in the car hmm. and he's in the passenger seat and he just starts crying hmm. out of the nowhere. You're just crying and crying and crying. You're like, I can't, I can't get off. I can't take it. I said, no, you have to take it to the, the, the bag, the dumpster yeah. in the back. Just dump it and don't look. Yeah, you dump it with your left hand and you don't look back, right? And but he's like, I can't. He's like, I can't, I can't. Yeah. Uh, she's there. Yeah, I, so I started to I'm hear I'm like, my, who? Who's there? Yeah, yeah. And I started to hear my grandma talk to me. My grandma. Started, everything started. Mijo, I miss you. And like, I wanted to, uh, you know, but I was like, <gasps> no. Like, and then I heard, hey, you fucking pussy. Like, just, like, just all this shit behind me. Boom, I'm taking Hell. off. Yeah. I remember your pill. Oh, I was taking off. I started taking off. Mijo, why are you running from me, my grandma? Mijo, mijo, stop running from me. Stop running from me. I love you. I miss you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know? And I just remember like jumping in the car and I'm like, no, jumping way, in the truck. Your head yeah, down. you know? And I, I just like, I'm here and I'm like, take me out this fucking cemetery. Mm -hmm. Just take me out this fucking cemetery. And um We finally get on the freeway. We get on the freeway and we go eat. And as soon as we go eat. Now my ex-girlfriend's calling me. And you're gonna see right here. Spots part. Automatically. Where you at? I need to see you. I need to see you. Where you at? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to see you right now. And you're gonna see it right here. You know what I'm saying? I need to see you. Uh, or uns making fake Instagram making accounts. Making fake Instagram accounts. Um, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, so it started, it was like that. So in the first week, two weeks after that, she was, she was uh, just blowing me up. Where you at? I need to see you. Spots part. Hey, uh... And we already knew right off the we bat. We knew off the bat. She fucked herself. Right after she did that, she mm -hmm. knew. That's what she fucking played herself. That's how she... That's how... That was her coming clean. Like, ah, oh, fuck. It's coming back to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, Again, I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't do nothing to her. None of that shit. I it just sent what she did to me. Send back to her. Because it was a cleaning. You know what I mean? And um, uh, so now she's blowing me up. And now all that's going on. Well, we thought we were done, right? We thought we were we done. We were like, man, we're finally going to be in peace. We're finally going to be in finally peace. We're going to be able to enjoy a meal. meal. So now, now the house shift. So now me and her start fighting, start getting into it, like, bad. You couldn't know? even be in the same room. Yeah, couldn't even be in the same room, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so she starts kind of getting what she's going through, right? So I'm trying to figure out, like, let me clean you. So I clean her. So I start pulling out capes. I put out a little bit of snakes, you know what I'm saying? I start pulling out, you know, these stuff out of her cleanings. So I'm thinking, damn, my ex-girlfriend's fucking with her, right? No. Um... No, actually. Well, she was. Well, she was, but... Um, towards the end. Towards the end. But this time... It was the guy. Martin. So, Martin ended up falling in love with Daisy. You know what I mean? Martin wanted Daisy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't... So, he was causing spirits to come to our house. He was causing, yeah, he was causing spirits to come to the house. And um, this is a whole other world that we didn't even know how yeah. we were going to be protected. Yeah, or like... Cleanse from. Or cleanse. Okay, so we ended up going to Juanita. Juanita tell us, holy shit, Martin... Is in love, love with, with you? Is in love with her? So now Martin starts coming around. Hey, where's Daisy? How you feeling? You feeling better? Um, I haven't seen Daisy. Oh, Daisy, tell Daisy she's gonna need a cleaning because whatever happened to her, uh, happened to you, is gonna happen to her. He wanted to see her so bad. You know, kind of. So I left. 
He left, uh, and at some point, at some given time, I ended up leaving the house because of the PTSD that was in there. It was very real, the PTSD. The energy stayed yeah, there. Yeah, the energy, yeah, the energy was uh, definitely, uh, definitely not right. Everybody moved out. Shout out to Daisy Duke for being a part of this show, part of this uh, production. And I want everybody to know that... Um, this is all real. This okay? is all real, man. This, this this is all real. We probably would have went into a more detailed uh, thing, but we, of course, you know, we want to keep it short and, uh, you know... Like, but if so y'all want to see it... Uh, yeah. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, if y'all want to see it, let us know in the comment, and we'll do a, a, a Q and A video for the both of us. I want everybody to know that not all brujaria is bad brujaria. God, God first, God always. And the reason why I say this is just that a lot of people are gonna tell me, well, you said you didn't believe in God, you prayed to God, God didn't help. Why should we believe in God? No, you always believe in God. You always believe in God, God first, because he's always going to show you the way. And it is the devil's world. It is because the devil will allow all this witchcraft and all this shit upon you. But just know that you're going to be protected you're gonna, by God. Yeah, you're going to be protected. Yeah, you might go through all this fucked up shit. And I went through all this to realize that God didn't kill me. And as much as I laid in that bathtub and tried to kill myself more than four times, God was with me through it all. And even though it was bad and God, he helped. But how these other people helped me and cleaned me and all this or whatever, this and that. I just want y'all to know that God still helped because God showed me the way. No and matter how bad I suffered. Past. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He opened my path. No matter how bad I suffered, I still made it out in the end. And it goes to show you no matter how bad somebody wants to hurt you, no matter how bad somebody tries to kill you, you will always win if your heart's pure and if you're always good. Always. I just want y'all to remember that. And I want y'all to know that. You know what I mean? So peace, love, and hair grease. Stay tuned for episode four or five. Thank you so much.